Hello guys, hope you're all okay. You're all enjoying your life and I'm Dr. Rashid Nadeem Awan with my ultrasound and radiology teaching video. Today I'm going to talk about the CBD dilatation. CBD dilatation is divided into two parts. The one is intrahepatic biliary channel dilatation and extrahepatic biliary channel dilatation. There is criteria for the measurement. You have to look for the criteria how much it should be while there is intact gallbladder and how much should it be when there is gallbladder remove all these information has been included in this video uh, so far the intrahepatic biliary channel dilatation is concerned i have uploaded one of the video and the patient has particularly uh, intrahepatic channel dilatations in the left lobe right lobe is entirely normal there is only uh, dilatation of the left uh, hepatic lobe and it indicates that there is some tumor is uh, lying within uh, or intraluminal tumor is lying. So uh, what are the nomenclature of these tumor? Like uh, it could be because of the cholangiocarcinoma. It could be because of the cholangitis. It might be because of the abscess or stasis or there are so many other uh, conditions are involved, which I have also listed in there. So let's start watching this image and this videos in the video i have narrated all that on the video how it will appear on the images and how you will appreciate and how you will write the report for all that so all these information is included in this video so let's start watching this uh, video this transabdominal scan and on this transabdominal scan you can appreciate that the left lobe of the liver it shows ectatic uh, vascular structure this is the right lobe and the right lobe is absolutely fine there is no intra uh, parenchymal abnormalities beside this gallbladder is also visible and there is no stone in the gallbladder a cbd uh, and associated uh, with the cbd particularly the left lobe it shows uh, intra parenchymal dilated vasculature so these are intra biliary channels dilatation it will look like this the way you are seeing in this image so hope uh, you will not forget this you have to change the probe to confirm whether this is uh, the right lobe or the left lobe but this is the left lobe as you can appreciate on this image beside this you should have to have a complete survey around all the uh, liver and look for whether there is any mass which is compressing the proximal part of the uh, biliary channels which particularly supplying the left lobe of the liver but here on the ultrasound image you cannot appreciate such sort of a abnormality you have to put the doppler signals on and look for whether these are uh, vascular ectasia or not to confirm between the uh, uh, to confirm the differentiation between the biliary channels and the vascular channel but there is no vascular channels in it it is purely uh, biliary channels dilatation so uh, you can appreciate this on the ultrasound image and as i mentioned that you should have to have a survey for the right side as well look for the right side this is absolutely normal and this is only the dilatation of the biliary channel on the in the left lobe intrahepatic biliary channels dilatations clinical presentations in uh, actually these are variable and it depends upon the underlying causes but uh, in short you will commonly see the right upper quadrant pain patient will complain of right upper quadrant pain and it will be associated with the jaundice the jaundice is one of the main symptoms which will help you to think about any intra or extra hepatic biliary channels dilatation and ultrasound is the baseline and confirm and swift modality to uh, confirm the diagnosis bile duct dilatation could be intra hepatic or extra hepatic if it is intrahepatic so it should have been more than 2 mm uh, less than 2 mm considered to be a normal intrahepatic biliary channel as far as the extra hepatic biliary channels are concerned it should be more than 6 mm if you put the criteria of uh, enlargement or dilatation it should have been more than 6 mm or in other word uh, 1 mm per decade after 60 years you have to add 1 mm after 6 like if it is 70 years so the normal criteria would be 7 mm and if it is 80 years so the normal measurement will be 8 mm 
so far uh, post cholecystectomy status is concerned so uh, the normal extra hepatic biliary uh, channels uh, should be 10 mm so it would be considered as 10 mm normal causes of the intrahepatic biliary channel dilatation include uh, hyalur intrahepatic or hyalur cholangiocarcinoma which is also called as clad skin tumor it is a hyalur cholangiocarcinoma this nomenclature has been given to the hyalur cholangiocarcinoma which is clad skin tumor it could also be intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma uh, it may be due to recurrent pyogenic cholangitis um, it may be because of the Caroli disease particularly when intrahepatic biliary channel and dilatation occurs in Caroli disease Caroli disease and porter bilopathy uh, may also be the reason and biliary necrosis is one of the reason so these are the causes for the uh, intrahepatic biliary dilatation but on the top always think of cholangiocarcinoma and beside this the second differential would be a pyogenic cholangitis